Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the latest version of Oxygen OS Beta version 8 for OnePlus 3T and Beta version 17 for OnePlus 3. So these two versions have been released yesterday by OnePlus and a few days back, they had also released a Beta version for Hydrogen OS which had the similar features and I have already made a video on that. You can check it out if you guys want to install Hydrogen OS. So that link I have mentioned in the description below. And guys, uh, right now on OnePlus 3, I am running uh, Halogen OS, which is pretty smooth. And uh, I have also made a video on this room. So if you guys want to check out this, you can uh, check it out. And uh, as of now, I have downloaded the file, which I'll show you. It is available in my internal memory. So I go to uh, internal memory and the file is this one so this is the file guys which you need to download and place it inside your internal memory and if you guys are rooted so uh, you'll be having twrp recovery you can use twrp recovery to install this file there is no issues uh, installing with twrp recovery and if you guys are not rooted you can uh, always go with the stock recovery and or the official recovery so uh, as i'm using uh, custom room so i have uh, twrp installed so what i'll do is i'll go to twrp recovery to flash this room so what i do is i just reboot my device to recovery and after that i'll show you this step by step how to uh, flash this room and what all the features available we'll also check the benchmarks uh, and uh, one more thing guys i have uh, already done a benchmark test on this uh, device so in this i go to history and show you guys so these are the benchmarks uh, which I got it uh, on single core and multi core. So what we'll do is after installing the other, uh, the official uh, beta version, we'll check out again. And I'll also post the screenshots on my Facebook page. You can just check it out. So let's go to TWRP recovery first and start the installation process. So once a device boots to TWRP recovery uh, and the guys I'll be doing a complete reset because I am using a custom room and uh, which has a uh, custom kernel installed. So what I do is I just go to wipe and wipe everything here. I don't want uh, any errors because I have seen few uh, YouTubers making videos. Uh, they do dirty flash on the stable version and they say there's uh, these are the bugs in beta version. But uh, I don't think so. They simply blame uh, OnePlus uh, for the bugs and if they follow the perfect way to install uh, i don't think uh, you'll find bugs few minor bugs will be there in beta version um, and those bugs can be ignored so what i do is swipe to wipe and once it is done i again go back and install the stock room the beta version so i go here and uh, this is the beta version which i have uh, downloaded so now i'll just flash this file so once the process is complete, what we do is we simply reboot the device. So your device reboots now and uh, we just click on, so we click next and uh, in this uh, here itself you get uh, an option to select the font and actually it is a new uh, feature which is available on OnePlus uh, beta version. So they have uh, included their official uh, OnePlus slate. So you can select this and uh, once the fonts are changed, we just click next and now I'll complete the initial setup and after that we'll check what are the features available in this. And in change logs, they also mention that setup is adjusted to suit the style of Android 7.0 and yes, they have uh, made few changes on the setup wizard that you can see while completing the initial setup. So I complete next, I go click on next, all set and so this is the latest version guys, beta version 17. So First we go to settings and we'll see uh, what are the changes available in about. So we go to about and the first thing what you'll notice is they have upgraded the security patch of month May. So this is the latest security patch which they have included and I don't know few uh, of the devices are getting uh, security patch of 5th May. Maybe uh, it's still uh, they still have not got the latest update of security patch. So these are the things available in about and so now let's take a look at the change logs what they have said so first of all they have done few new additions in this and they say they have got ambient display 2.0 so let's go to settings and check uh, the ambient display so we go to display and here 
we go to ambient display so in ambient display you can see they have got one more option here uh, lift up display so if you enable ambient display you'll be able to enable lift up display so in this guys it says uh, wake screen when you pick up the phone so in this i turn off my device and uh, let's see whether uh, lift up display works or not on this uh, ambient display 2.0 so we just turn off the screen and now what i do is i just lift up the device and you can see the screen um, lights up which will be showing your notification and the time so this is the new thing which they have got in this and next what they say is uh, sharing functionality for shot on oneplus so we go to wallpaper and uh, we click on shot on oneplus so i think it will take time to load so meanwhile what we'll do is we'll just go to uh, other function which is available in this so that is uh, all new oneplus font available in english chinese and japanese language only so they have got one more thing over here that is font and in this you get oneplus slate which is their official font available in this build it was available in hydrogen build also so these uh, this is only available in english chinese and japanese language only so this is a new thing so only these are the new additions which they have done to uh, this uh, beta version and same were available in hydrogen os so what we do is while well, again check whether uh, this has been updated or not so yes shot on oneplus is now updated so now here you have few wallpapers which can be shared with your friends so you just click here and you get an option of share so the next uh, ui improvements what they say is they have gotten gallery version 1.7 so here is the gallery we'll just check out the version of this gallery first okay i just go here and go to app info so in this you have gallery version 1.7.0 so this is the gallery version the latest gallery which is available in oneplus and change logs uh, you can just check it out guys so minor changes in gallery next day say recorder version 1.6 so uh, in this um, not much of changes just a few ui changes available you can see the icon has been replaced and uh, the animation of recording is also replaced in this i'll just show you i'll just record a video audio and you can see uh, the animation has been changed here so i just stop it delete okay i go back and next they say a uh, file manager is also upgraded to uh, version 1.7 so file manager uh, you can see we have um, this is the version uh, 1.7 we go to settings and uh, in this you have uh, two options available here show hidden files if you have hidden few files or the private uh, fold folders you can just hide them and the changes what they have seen is the category and the storage have it has been shifted towards the left side and uh, weather is weather app is also updated to version 1.7 and i don't feel any changes in this weather application uh, it's just a normal update which they have made so uh, next they say other ui refinements so they have a uh, few changes in the ui that uh, i'm not able to make out what are the changes and the third option what they have is that is optimization they say enhance launching speed of third party applications so i think they have increased the speed of third party applications and under this they also say optimize management of uh, foreground and background processes that you will be getting once uh, you start using the device or this uh, beta version you will feel the changes and uh, the last they say other changes in other changes they say setup is adjusted to suit the style of android 7.0 yes that i have shown you in the initial setup that uh, setup wizard has been changed a little bit redefine contact import process from sim cards so i'll just go here and i'll check what they have done in this so we go to settings import and export so in this i have not i'm not using any sim card as of now so uh, few changes they have done they have um, refined contact import process for sim card so i'm not using sim card so i'm not i won't be able to tell you that next is automatically add corresponding country codes when making calls during roaming so i don't have any roaming sim card which i would have tested now 
they say it automatically adds the country code if your device is in roaming uh, it will automatically add the country code while dialing the number and the last one they say is updated android security patch level 2 first may so that i have already shown you in my um, uh, in the initial after the initial setup that the security patch has been updated to um, first may 2017 and we still have we are still lacking behind the latest security patch is 5th may 2017 so these are the change log guys uh, available in this uh, beta version all these were available in hydrogen os also the previous version which they have released so hydrogen OS, uh, they are always ahead of uh, official oxygen OS. First they release for hydrogen and then they release for oxygen OS. So now what I'll do is I'll just check the uh, benchmarks uh, in this. So I'll just complete my Google account settings. And so now I have installed uh, benchmark geek benchmark application. So what we'll do is we'll just check, uh, check the benchmarks uh, with the halogen OS that I have previously installed. So I'll run uh, benchmark application now. So now we have completed the testing of uh, benchmarks. So in this you can see it's uh, single core it says 1748 and multi core it says 4018. So I'll just show you the uh, previous image which I have uh, checked. So I just uh, open this first and uh, I also have this one was 1796. 1796 in um, halogen OS and uh, multi core was 4046. So if you compare this and the previous one, so you have better benchmarks available in Halogen OS uh, instead of beta version. So in single core also and multi core also, both the ways the Halogen OS is leading. So Halogen OS is smooth and battery good, battery backup available. So guys, I'll uh, do one thing. I'll just post the screenshot on my Facebook page. You can check it out from there. Uh, I'll include the ROM name and the benchmarks available. I'll add all the screenshots uh, today itself after uploading this video. So that's all in this video guys. If you like the video, do give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.